few people, actually more than a few people, complaining that the weekend was a little too warm for their taste. We hit 81 on Saturday, and now, well, you weather gods must have heard you. We're going from one extreme to another. I'm looking at the temperature trend from May 21st through the 27th. This from the Climate Prediction Center, although I, I do have to say, Really, complaining about the weather has no bearing on the actual weather. I sometimes have to remind myself of that. Uh, as you can see, a, a fairly strong signal toward below average temperatures, uh, especially the further east you go. But an upper level trough will be developing over the entire western United States and right on in to the Great Plains. That is going to keep things cooler than average and, as it happens, wetter than average. Here is the precipitation outlook for May 21st through the 27th. And we have been fairly dry for the past couple of weeks, so making up for some lost time on the precipitation front uh, will likely be a good thing for most people involved, particularly our farmers and the folks in the Okanagan where the concern over wildfire this upcoming season is quite high. On our satellite and radar right now, we do have a system approaching from the west that will bring us our first chance of showers starting a little less than 24 hours from now. Uh, it's not coming along with cooler than average weather, however. A southwesterly flow in advance of that system will bring our temperatures up into the 70s again tomorrow. And then we start cooling down in the seven-day forecast. Here is a look. We're in the 60s by Wednesday, and then we stay in the 60s uh, about average Wednesday and Thursday, and then heading to below average temperatures once we're in into the weekend down in the lower 60s for Sunday with a pretty good chance of showers Sunday, hopefully staying dry uh, Saturday evening. That is the big Armed Forces Torchlight Parade in Spokane. And don't, don't want it to rain then. Any other time, uh, not such a bad thing.